Yo, what's going on, G-Squad? It's me, The Incredible Greek. Welcome back for another reaction video. So, we're going to be checking out a video from Top 10's channel. So, Top 10 channel, it does, well, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It does Top 10 stuff. So, it is a really great channel. It does a lot of great videos. Uh, it, 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 it shows you so many great stuff. Some of, it, some of it's just amazing, some of it's unbelievable, some of it's weird, and it is really interesting. I tell you, you go onto that channel, you watch one video, and you're like, right, I've got to watch the next one, got to watch the next one, got to watch the next one, and it is a really good channel. So this is Top 10, uh, Top 10's 10 Kids Who Have Got Revenge On Their Bully. Now, this is not going to be the full content. I like to be, you know, I like to be fair to uh, original content creators, okay? So we're only going to be checking out five out of ten. So this is so this is why it's been labelled five kids who got revenge on their bullies. Okay, in the title. Okay, so if you want to see the full video, go to the link down below and check out the full video. Give your support to the original content owner. Okay, right here we go. One, two, three, go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here. Before this oh, video that's what he looks I like. I want to quickly remind you guys to follow me on Twitter. I post video updates, photos, and other things I have planned on the channel, and I'm going to be following a bunch of you guys back. Okay, so moving on with the video, today we're going to be looking at 10 kids who got revenge on their bullies. Some of these I found on internet forums, and others are really huge news stories, and sometimes even viral videos. It's absolutely crazy how some of these people got their revenge, so get ready. Definitely drop mm, a like if you enjoyed. I'm looking forward to this. thousand likes on this video because it really does help me out. So coming in at number 10, we have Louisa Manning. So when Louisa was around 12 years old, she was bullied about her looks. Basically, people called her fat and hairy and she uh -huh. was even nicknamed Man Beast by other students. And because of this, she actually spent years barely eating anything because she was so self-conscious. She also had man. Really bad confidence because of it. But as the years went on, she got really attractive and eight years after she left school, one of Ugly the Duckling became a swan, eh? On a date. And she no way! They planned to go to a swanky restaurant, but the woman actually came to the restaurant early and asked the waitress to hand this photo and a note to the man when he arrived. The note said, Hey, so sorry I can't join you tonight. Remember year eight when I was fat and you made fun of my weight? No? <laughs> I spent the following three years eating less than an apple a day. So I've decided to skip dinner. Remember the monobrow you mocked? The hairy legs you were disgusted by? Remember how every day for three years you and your friends called me man beast? No, perhaps you don't. Or you wouldn't have seen how I looked eight years later and deemed me fuckable enough to treat me like a human being. I thought I'd send you this as a reminder. Next time you think of me, picture the girl in this photo. Because she's the one who just stood you up. It's safe to Oh my god, that is brilliant. That is so, so good. So basically, one of her old bullies from long ago asked her out on a date. Didn't know who she was, right? Because all he could see was, hmm, fine woman. Yeah, I want to get in that, basically. And, um, yeah, she remembered him. You know what? Sometimes great insults as a child can they especially when you get bullied at school they can last a long time and they can last a long long time and they can have an effect oh, sorry they can have an effect on you the way you are in the future it can it can some people grow up to be absolutely you know no confidence in themselves uh you know scared to do things and shy and because they were bullied at school and it and it really can affect your character, you know, as we grow up, we develop our character as we grow up, and bullies, people that you, when you get severely bullied, it can really take effect on how your character as a person, you know, your, your person, you know, your, your character as you grow up, it can affect you like that, so, good on her, that was so good. I'd say Louisa got a pretty good revenge. I just hope that bully regrets being such a dick before. Now this one is pretty funny. So basically a teenager in California was in the 10th grade and was being really badly bullied by a bunch of people in her class. So one day she bought in some cupcakes and handed them out to the bullies. And they tasted really bad so the bullies asked her why they tasted so nasty. And she said that she'd put spit, hair and sperm in the cupcakes. So all the bullies started freaking out but the teenager... <laughs> semen did you say sick as well oh my god can you imagine how much that must have oh. that was brilliant i love you girl i love you 
I love ya. Sorry. Carry on. plan backfired because one of them called the police. When the police oh, showed up, she no. said she didn't put all of that stuff in the cupcakes and that she just used mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, and soy sauce, which was in fact the truth. She just lied oh. to the So yeah, she didn't actually make them eat sperm or any of that other shit. But it must have been so funny to watch them freak out before the police got there. After that, the school made a rule that no one was allowed to bring in any food from outside the school into the building. Sorry. Oh man. Oh man. I wish that was true though. I wish that was true. Some bullies do fucking deserve it. So next up is Revenge DVD. I actually got this one from an internet forum. But this one is a crazy real life story so I wanted to put it in. So these two girls were best friends and they were getting badly bullied by a girl called Georgina. She would call them really bad names, smash their heads on their desks and beat them up really badly every single day. Oh one my day, one god. One the girl said that she would soon be leaving the school because they were moving house. Her best friend who was also getting bullied was really scared that she wouldn't have anyone to help her deal uh... with the bullying. But then the girl who was moving said she wasn't going to leave knowing her best friend was still being bullied and that she had a plan. The plan was that they decided to film all of the times Georgina bullied them for the few weeks before the girl left the school. But this was before camera phones came out, so they decided to have their laptops with them wherever they went. They made excuses oh. so that they could type instead of write in all of their lessons, such as having slow handwriting or having carpal tunnel syndrome, which means you can't move your hand too well. They also painted over the green light that shows when your webcam's recording. Over the oh. they recorded Georgina doing all the terrible stuff I was talking about before. They then asked a friend who knew how to edit videos to make a compilation of all of the videos and burn it to a disc. And then it finally got around to the night that the girl was leaving and the two best friends said goodbye and the girl left But in the morning Georgina's mum the headmaster of the school and the police all woke up to find the DVD in their mail Because the girls <laughs> had put it in there just before one of them left Georgina ended up getting expelled and no other schools would take her So she ended up having to move country just to go to school The girls made a fake Facebook account and friended her on it so they could see what happened And in her adult life apparently she's not doing too good So yeah she ruined their childhood but the two girls ruined her life Kinda harsh but I guess it goes to show don't be a bully Damn. So next up on this list is Jay Snyder. Now we all know that when you play video games, there's a lot of trash talk. Shut the fuck up! Can I please talk for a fucking second? Can I talk for a fucking second here, please? And that's fine. In fact, that's one of the things that I find really funny when I play video games. Because you usually end up being pretty good friends with the people and it can just be a bit of fun. But sometimes yeah. this can go beyond harmless fun. Jay had been getting bullied for quite a while by this guy. He'd been harassing him online and not just trash talking, but saying some really fucked up things to him at an EVO tournament. If you guys no. don't know, EVO is a fighting game which has a big tournament every year. Anyway, the bully starts roasting, well, at least what these guys consider roasting the other guy. And then they have a little face-to-face -face confrontation where Jay does doesn't back down. And after that, they play the tournament and Jay kicks the other guy's ass in the game and wins by far. And then after that, he says this. There's gonna come a point when you forget about what happened and you're gonna wanna come back at me. And you're gonna wanna wash the taste of my dick out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good revenge. Next up is Defender. This one is a crazy st Oh my God, that was brilliant. That's brilliant. And the best thing about it, it was sold without violence. It was sold without violence. And you saw the look on that bully's face, on that guy's face. His pride, his confidence was shattered. He could not even say anything. Like, all he could do is stand there in silence and be like, because he got ya. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Dream Crusher. This one is from an internet forum and is a really crazy story. Basically, a junior boy was getting bullied by a senior girl. Well, one day he decided to set up a camera in the room where he'd always eat lunch alone because he didn't have too many friends. And she mm -hmm. would always go in there and beat him up and say really bad stuff to him. So anyway, he set up his camera and sure enough, the girl came in and beat him up and called him some really bad stuff. And because she was a senior, she was applying to colleges. And this girl had just applied for early admission to a really prestigious and expensive university. And because she applied early, she was pretty much 100% guaranteed to get in. So this guy goes and sends a video to the university and then the university tells her there's no way she's getting in because they saw the video. <laughs> not only did she not get into her dream school, she also got kicked out of her current one. And that's why this oh, guy God. is the dream crusher. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the post. Oh, fuck for me, that, that was a good finish. one. For me, it's a poison one just because he could have oh my God. that. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if... I mean, I believe that bullies, all bullies deserve to get what they get. Except for anything that causes them to die. You know, I don't wish death upon anyone. But bullies do deserve to have some sort of consequence for their consequence for their actions. Okay? Just like what you saw on this video.
some of these bullies, they thought it was fun to beat people up. But think, oh yeah, I ain't gonna get that much in trouble. Of course, happened. Some of them have, have ruined their futures. Like the like the last one, like like the last one you just saw, that girl. She was gonna go to a prestigious college. You know, she could have got tremendous uh, qualifications, whatever she was gonna study in. Would have been on a CV or resume, as you guys, the Americans would say. Uh, you know, she's gone to this college. You're like, oh, she went this college. Wow. It's ruined her. Now she's got to work even harder to, to get a better job in the future. So, guys, I guess the message, yeah, obviously, the obvious message in this video is don't be a bully, okay? Don't be a dick, okay? <laughs> don't be a dick. Don't be a bully. So, anyway, guys, look, thanks very much for stopping by, checking out the video. Remember, this was not the full content. If you want to see the full content, the original video go down to the link below and watch the full video check out the other stories because they are really wow <laughs> wow so uh yeah don't forget to check out my other stuff and uh yeah i'll see you guys later on the next video bye